was just recently that my family and I went to Elephant Rocks State Park here in Missouri. It's about an hour and a half south of St. Louis. We used to go there once a year or so when our kids were younger. Now we're, now we're going with our kids and their kids. If you're ever in the area, it's a way cool place, especially if you have kids. There are these, these gigantic boulders that you can climb on and over and between. Kind of gives you an idea of where the name came from, right? It, it actually used to be a granite quarry. And there are buildings and even streets in St. Louis that have granite from there. The, the Missouri Governor's Mansion has granite from there and lots of other places too. And, and one thing that I find fascinating is an old abandoned building there at the park. It, it used to be where the, the trains would pull in to load up the granite that was being shipped out. The, the railroad tracks are, are still partly there, but the building is made from, wait, take a guess. That's right, granite. And if you look closely, I'm pretty sure it would have been a challenge to build it. You'd have to, to try to match up pieces so they'll go together. Nope, that one's not even close. Let's, let's look for another one. And, and if you can't find a piece that's just right, you're gonna probably need to chip away at a piece to make it fit. You know, the, the truth is that it would be a lot easier to use bricks. They're, they're easier to work with, more uniform, but the end product of the stones is pretty cool. Now, if you look carefully, you might notice that in some places, there's a lot more mortar than in other places. Clearly, some stones had more space in between, so the builders used more mortar to, to make up the difference. Now, I know that by now, you might be thinking, oh, okay, Tom, nice building. So what? Well, it seems to me that God builds with stones, not bricks. 1 Peter 2.5, it says, You yourselves, like living stones, are being built up as a spiritual house. You, you know, each stone is, is different. Each stone is unique. And, and just like the wall at the park, some places take extra mortar to fill in the gaps. But see, in God's building, Love is the mortar that, that holds those living stones in place. And it fills in those gaps that, that need to be filled in. See, the fact is that you and I are never going to see eye to eye with every Christian person. We just won't. There will always be some areas of contention, some areas of, of disagreement, and, and that's where the love comes in. It, it fills in those gaps between us we, we choose to love one another in spite of our differences. Jesus said people would know we're his disciples because we love one another. And when we do that, when we love each other and let that love be the, the mortar between us, then, then we become solid enough to be that building. We're, we're no longer distant from one another, but we're, we're connected by love. Ephesians 2, it says, you are fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God, built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Christ Jesus himself being the cornerstone, in whom the whole structure being joined together grows into a holy temple in the Lord. You know, I'm not sure what this building that God is making is going to, to look like when it's all done, but considering the building materials, you and me, and, and considering the builder, God himself, I think it's gonna be way better than that granite building that I saw at the park.